This video is being recorded on a Mac running the Lion operating system and using the Safari browser. What you see on your computer may look a little bit different, but you sh still should be able to do everything that I'm going to demonstrate to you. And what I'm going to demonstrate to you is how to do an advanced search so you can narrow down the results that are returned and you can specify the kinds of image you're looking for and in this case we're looking for images that have a Creative Commons license attached to them. So let's start off and I'm going to search for alarm clock and we want to narrow that down first of all to images. Some of these may be, still be all rights reserved and some of them um, may have a Creative Commons license on them. So there are thousands. If you can look up here, there's 60 million results and so we want to narrow this down. If you come over here and do advanced search, you can see all of these categories that were narrow down your search even more. If you only want black and white, you can suggest do that or you want them to have a certain color in them. Uh, that will help narrow down the list. So I'm just going to say any color, type of image. You want to see just faces, photographs, clip art, line drawings. So I'm just going to leave it on any type. You can choose the region where you want these pictures to come from. The site or the domain. You may want just government sites or educational sites. This has to do with how much explicit sexual content, um, you, how much you want it to filter, whether it be real, real strict or not to filter it at all. File type. There are many types of image formats. We will be studying that. And if you only want JPEG images, GIF images, you can choose them. I'm just going to do any format. That was the default. And here's the one, it's at the bottom, so a lot of people miss this. You can filter it by uh, usage rights. Here you see the default is not filtered by license. And let's choose the second one. You can see there's all different combinations. And if one of these filters doesn't work, come back and choose another one until you um, find what you're looking for. Then I'm going to click Advanced Search and it brings back these images. Now you're still going to have to check the website where they are and make sure they didn't slip through the cracks and get put in here as having a Creative Commons license and it really doesn't. So I'm going to come down here. Here's one that I like. We'll click on it. I always like to go to the website so I can look for the image and make sure it's on that page and there it is. Then I start looking around for Creative Commons license and this particular person did put one on Daniel Pugh and um, notice with his license you can use it but you have to give him attribution and you can't use it commercially and you can't mix it up no derivatives so when you use that image you have to follow these rights and you have to put the same kind of license on the image that the owner puts on it Okay, so hopefully that will help uh, your search for images that are safe to use in your blogs and your websites.